The Wisconsin Badgers will play for a regular season championship against Michigan State this weekend at the Kohl Center. The Badgers put themselves in this position with two wins last weekend at Penn State. On Friday night, Cruz Lucia scored two power play goals. Matthew D. St. Fowl lit the lamp twice as well. Kyle McClellan with his seventh shutout, and the Badgers blanked the Nittany Lions 6-0. And then on Saturday, the Badgers rallied to take the lead in the third. Penn State forced overtime before Ben Dexheimer won it. So the Badgers returned to Madison to wrap up the regular season, a showdown against the Spartans for all the marbles. I'm Brian Posick, and head coach Mike Hastings joins us next on the Badger Hockey Digest. We're coming. Our squad of vehicles with all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive is ready to take you on. Safety's the name of our game. Bundle up. Toyota. Right now, you can get 3.99% APR financing for 60 months on a new 2024 Toyota RAV4. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. I've always been a storyteller. I capture those beautiful moments, things other people miss. My health took an unexpected turn, but my care team put my needs in focus, designing solutions to support my ambitions. Now that's just a footnote in my journey, a small part of a story that's still being written. UW Health, remarkable. Mike, if you consider everything, what happened the weekend before at Ohio State, the injuries, guys in and out of the lineup, you're without two of your key players last weekend at Penn State, some guys coming back from injuries, maybe not fully 100%, and you found a way to win two hockey games. Those were gritty performances, weren't they? It was a good weekend for us. You know, you, you're trying to hit the reset button as quick as you can with what happened at Ohio State, and I thought our leadership group did a great job of corralling the guys and getting them back on the same page. They put a lot of work into going into Penn State, and they were rewarded for it. Yeah, you had your top dogs perform well, too, and the power play clicked, which is nice to see. Yeah, that's we've been waiting for that <laughs> for like a while. I like the smile. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, and you know what? I, I just thought David Sillier, Matty D. St. Fowl, Cruz Lucius, I, I thought, you know, we, we had a lot of different people step up, but we needed those guys to step up for us offensively. We were a little dry the week before. Uh, when we're good, it's, it's usually through our depth. Um, but to have those guys step up and do what they did, Benny Dexheimer also playing as well as he played and helped us out in the power play in an overtime, so it was, a, it was a great weekend for us. Yeah, now this weekend, not only is Michigan State in town playing for a Big Ten championship, it's also senior weekend. There are 10 seniors on this year's squad. Two were honored last year. There will be eight that will be honored on Saturday at the Kohl Center. This is, as a first-year head coach, getting to know most of these young men. Uh, the relationship has worked out pretty well, and they've done a nice job for you. A special group. Yeah. And that's credit to Tony and his staff at, at bringing the quality of individuals that he did to this program and his time here. And uh, we've benefited from that because those guys have really stepped up and been example setters uh, for some of the new guys and really put their arms around the group that we had come in, which was 12 deep. So uh, a lot of credit to what's happened to this point in the season has to go to those old guys. Yeah, and one of the seniors that will be honored on Saturday night is Matthew D. St. Fowl. Let's take two minutes with MDSP. Can't believe you've been here four years. Uh, that's remarkable. It is senior night. You know, I suppose you look at the schedule and see that the last regular season home series is Michigan State. You didn't know at the time what the series was going to mean, but you knew this weekend was coming, didn't you? Yeah, hundred percent. And uh, you know, when they got the best of us in their in their barn over in Michigan State, I think we were all kind of saying like, you know, can't wait for the end of the year and try and get two back on these guys. So um, we've definitely had this weekend circled in the calendar for a while. And, uh, you know, it's just great the way it's coming down to the Big Ten. And um, congratulations to them on an awesome season. But, yeah, we're really looking forward to this weekend. There's a lot of hockey left to be played. And you have options after this year, too. You could come back for another year of college. You could turn pro if, if you'd like. Um, but it is senior weekend. 
and there are 10 of you, uh, seniors or grad students. Two were already honored last year, Mike Orlicki and Owen Lindmark, so they won't be part of the presentation on Saturday, but the eight other guys, you've known them for a long time. David Cilia, you just got to know this year, he's been an excellent addition, but this group of seniors, uh, what's it meant to you? Uh, I mean, our class is super close, and we've kind of been that way since day one, freshman year. We were all kind of talking about um, you know, it feels like just yesterday we were in the dorms together going to Starbucks every morning or going to Gordon's and, uh, you know, just being, you know, dumb freshmen walking around. But um, I think it's uh, it goes by way too quick. And like you said, I can't believe it either that I'm a senior already. And um, I, it's going to be awesome to be recognized this weekend. And, um, you know, we're really just trying to take advantage of every single day we have left. And we, we just want to have that feeling of no regrets. We did everything we could have when we were here. And, um, you know, I, I love this place. And, yeah, it's, it's going to be tough to – to ever say goodbye one day, we'll see what happens. So. Yeah. And the playoffs are coming up. How much more do you guys have left in the tank? Uh, I think we got some juice left. And, um, you know, the way we've practiced all year, I think we've added a lot to um, our endurance and our stamina. And I think we have a really deep lineup. So we have that next man up mentality. Everyone's always ready to go. And, um, you know, we push each other every day. And I think that's kind of built up to this point. We're trying to climb that mountain, as coach says. So, um, yeah, just really excited to keep this thing going. Want to play? Play High Chai Fortune Frenzy at High V right now. Buy a High Chai entree and win a prize in every fortune cookie. Prizes include free High Chai apps, free High Chai entrees, and you can enter to win big cash prizes like two hundred and twenty dollars, twenty two hundred dollars, twenty two thousand dollars. Grand prize: two hundred and twenty thousand dollars in cash. Eat High Chai, win free stuff. It's that easy. Only at High V. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics, weabenefits.com. Well, by doing what you did last weekend, you're in position to win a Big Ten championship, but Michigan State is in position as well. This is a very balanced team. You said relentless. You uh, characterized them as relentless one time. They are, aren't they? Yeah, they're they're good. They're One, I think their staff uh, does a great job of preparing the young men, and, and they're good from top to bottom. They're uh, an attack mindset. They come at you when they don't have the puck. They come at you with the puck. Uh, when you talk about a team that's difficult to play, you, you you know, if you're, if you're building or mixing that recipe, you're going to start between the posts. They've got a very good goaltender. Uh, they defend in groups of five, and their power play has been very special here over the last really month, month and a half, and they've got two units doing it. So they'll be a difficult out, but this is meaningful hockey. You want to have this opportunity. You want to do it at home, and uh, we're excited about it. All right, have fun this weekend. The Badgers and the Spartans face off Friday and Saturday nights. Both games start at 8 o'clock on the Badgers Sports Network and the Varsity Network app. For Mike Hastings, I'm Brian Posick. Thanks to Jay Williams, too. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest. This has been a presentation from Learfield.